You have no more business here. Go. Well, rude. We just brought the crystal back. I, I believe in the the later ports, she actually comments on, Oh, you're not as or you know, you're not as handsome or good as looking as I thought you were. Which is a um kind of a sting, I have to say. Greetings there, everybody! Party J here, once again, returning to the fantastic world of the first Final Fantasy. So last time we got a Mystic Quee? Key? Quee? Quee? Key? And we went to all the previous locations that needed the Mystic Key. Got some good stuff, got some okay stuff, and we got some useless stuff. So this time, we're going to the final location, which we haven't been to, which is the Dwarven Cave. So from Corneria, we need to get on our ship, and we need to follow the coastline to the north, but to the west. After we uh, take care of some sharks. Or shark. A shark. It just kind of flopped on our boat, and it's like... It's like Jaws. But, you know, there we go. Alright, so we need to follow the coastline. The west coastline. North. And to this port. We go to this port. We go down through the force. We're going to the south. Run into some creeps. And ogres, do I really want to fight these guys? I don't think I will. Nah, they ambushed me. Nah, I don't think so. Later, dudes. Later. Thank you. Alright, we head to the south. Go in between here. Nasp. I'm really glad they didn't poison me. So they have a good chance to poison you with their normal attacks. And feel like using a pure potion right there. All right, we're gonna go here, and we're going in this cave right here. We can actually go south to. Well, we would be able to go to Astos's castle, but you know, rivers in the way, so we can't do that. Let's take care of these snakes. Hopefully, not get poisoned to uh, begin with. Idru, can you take it again? Yes. There you go. Good boy. Okay. Well, that's odd. Let's see what that... Let's see. Oh, we go to the status screen. There seems to be that this piece of land doesn't exist. Why is that? So let's go in the cave. Welcome to the Dwarven Cave. Hello? Hooray! That is uh, the thing before. They said lally ho. They said hooray. Dwarves can see in the dark. Well, I certainly hope that they can because they most likely leave, live underground. I'm looking for the floater. I bet I could... I bet with it, I could float anything. All right, that's uh, that's a useful piece of information. We won't get it to it until later on. Yes, I know nothing is there. I'm trying to talk to this guy who's running away. The bracelet can protect you like armor. Good advice, kind of already covered it, but good. That sound? Nurik is digging a canal. All right, I guess we'll get to that in a moment. And you're saying hooray on the seat. Only if you were on the <laughs> the toilet, that would be so much more funnier. But anyway, what is this? With the crystal, even the blind can see. Asto stole it from Atoya. I guess we were supposed to come here a little sooner. Oops.
Did I come here already? So these, uh, I must have came here before. I'm not sure. But anyway, we got two ones with gold. So future me, put those up. I'm pretty sure I wasn't here, but if I did, it's been a while. It's been a little bit, so... And if I came here, I probably just got the gold and went out. I didn't explore here at all, so... But, uh, you say the same thing as the other guy. Wow. Did you meet Smith, our blacksmith? I don't know, did it? Very creative name you guys are. The earth is rotting slowly from the west. All right. That uh, is a big concern. You say the canal. I'm assuming you're a smith. For the light warriors, I will make true a true legendary sword. However, my supplies of antium is exhausted. All right, so we got to get you some material. Can we have this sword? No, that is just an unusable sample. But it's a sword. Can I have the sword? I want the sword. It could be good. Alright, so we're going down here. I don't remember coming here. Well, anyway, if I did, then... Hey, brain fart. Boom. Uh, we will talk to the guy. Actually, sure, we'll talk to this guy. Oh, wonderful! Nice work! Yes! Yes, indeed! This TNT is... is what I needed to finish my canal. Now excuse me while I get to my work. Okay. And he just poofs. He's a ghost. So, in the ports, in the future versions, I think he comes down here, makes things explode and indicates, well, that little piece of land that keeps on disappearing, well, it's gone. But here, this is actually locked by the Mystic Key, which, you know, I can't actually show. But we can go in here now, so let's see what's in here. Got a self a cabin. I can't hold any more. Ooh, what is going on here? It's an armor. Now here's an instance where we have too much stuff and I should have sold stuff before I left, but I really don't need this, so I'm gonna drop that shield. We have an iron helmet, which I think is better than what we have now. Yes, it is. We'll go put it on Yames. And we have up Scissor's Orb to 37. And I think he drops Scissor's of Eight a little bit more too. Anyway. More defense. Always nice. We have a dragon sword. Another silver dagger. I can't hold any more. Uh, really? Guess I'll drop that helmet because the armor I can sell for some decent amount of gold. So what's this? Another wooden helmet. I threw it to the ground and surprisingly, oh my god, I open up and I found the same thing. the look of astonish on my character's faces. It's like, oh. It's a helmet. A wooden helmet. Oh. <laughs> Guess what's gonna get thrown on the ground again? Let's just toss that helmet around there. It's like, yeah, just toss it. Silver armor. Oh, so much better. Uh, 575 gold. And a house. All right, so with the silver armor, let's be James. James has a uh, defensive or absorb of 37 and evasion of 30. So let's equip that a silver armor and see what it is. So his absorb went down to 31. But his evade went up to 45. So it's better evasion, lower defense. And I can confirm this with uh, Idru here, which is very close. He has, I don't think he has the helmet. But still, better evasion, 
I think I'll go with better evasion. I, I prefer to have... I prefer enemies to miss, to pose to taking, you know, an extra few. Like, a good jump in evasion, I think, would be better than, I don't know, a few points in defense, in my personal opinion. But anyway, nevertheless, let us go and see what that canal. It opens up to literally the rest of the world, because we were contained in... See, now it's open. So, we need to go back in our ship and through the canal. Do I really want to fight these guys? Sure, let's just mess them up. Take them out, Yames. Also switch Idru to have the special weapons and Yames to have like the the, uh, the standard weapons. To kind of differentiate them. I think like Idru is kind of like, oh, okay, well, you know, I want to be different. So I'm going to be doing those, those special weapons. So let us get us back into the ship. Okay, let's see if we can round... One round this guy. Take him out. Oh, James, you are... Oh, shake my head to you. All right, let's get back on the ship. Go along the coastline to the south. Still heading west. Got some Kakasus. Which are basically reskin pirates. And I would run, but they're... They have some good gold, let's just say. And they don't hit a lot. They're not that... They're not that, uh... Powerful. Uh, of course, all my weak guys have to... Oh, there you go. Zom, man. You... You... Killed, just hit him enough. Now it's 360 gold. Eh, it's not bad. Now we can go through here. And, my God, we have the whole world to explore now. So we're finally out of the inner area and we have the whole world to explore so there is a flashing dot literally west from here and that'd be a good place to start so let's do that it is a town let us go here let's see what is in the town there's a lot of gravestones a lot of gravestones i think i'm going to heal just to make sure not because of the gravestones, I just want to make sure that I don't forget to heal before I leave there. So we got white magic. The town was invaded by vampire. The clinic was destroyed and the town was cursed. Really? Alright, um... I, I, I believe that the, the clinic was not the only thing that the was destroyed. Warriors, revive the power of the orbs. Are you related to the guy from Corneria? Keeps on saying that to me. Sarda does, does not fear the evils of the cave. And who is this Sarda? If the order of the orb of Earth Again, the shy again, the urge shall revive. Okay. And where do I get this orb of earth? You're a farmer. So why aren't you farming? Hello, sir. Pass through Titan's tunnel, then go south to find Sarda, the sage. Okay, well, there, there's that. He's a sage. He is to the west. Oh, he says, we got to go to the Titan's Tunnel. Where's Titan's Tunnel? I am Jim. My home in the Dwarf Village, but I'm here to... Because I'm here investigating. What are you investigating? Are you investig... What are you investigating? I'm assuming that this is the clinic. Seeing that 
the house is kind of destroyed. They say the ancient people used used the stone to make their ships float. Hey, wait a minute. In the dwarf village, someone said about something about a floater to make anything float. What if that has anything to do with it? In the northern world, there was once a province, a, a prophetess that words, words are difficult, civilization, but now is only in ruins. So the northern continent is in ruins? There's nothing up there? I beg to differ. Oh my god, it's a lady! Warriors, warriors, reveal the power of the arms. And we got a well. That's the same old ordinary well. Have I uh, talked to you, sir? I have talked to you. I haven't got a town name. Actually, I forget what this town is called, actually. How about you, sir? Everybody knows me. What? You have never heard of Dr. Oon? Well, you gotta take those bananas out of your ears and listen to people. All right, Lordy. Titan is in... The Titan who lives in the tunnel eats gems. He loves rubies. Really? Okay, so we gotta find a ruby for Titan so we can get through his tunnel? That sounds oddly suggestive, but moving on. The vampire of Earth, the vampire of the Earth Cave is stealing the power of Earth. We need your help. But how about someone else? Can't someone else do it? We're just the four warriors of light. Uh, fine. The Earth Cave is on the peninsula southwest of this town. Which is where we need to go. But more importantly, we gotta sell some stuff. So let's sell none of that. None of that. Uh, that iron armor. I really think I might get rid of the cap. It's only worth one point of extra damage. And I do need the space a little bit, so we're just going to get rid of the cap and see what's here. We got steel armor, 45,000. Oh, that is a lot. We got silver, so I can actually get that for Zom. Uh, an iron helmet, which I got to give to Idru, but fortunately. And an iron gauntlet. Because I gotta go here, I gotta finagle my inventory. Alright, so Iron Helmet on Idru, and also Iron Conflict. Nope, he's gotta go with a shield. And the gauntlets, there we go. So, we got Idru decked out in iron, iron stuff. And also Zom, he's equipped a silver... bracelet. And then I'm going to sell all the other crap that I don't need. Wooden helmet. Don't need it. We got to throw two of them out in the uh, dwarven cave, so... And the copper gauntlet. Don't need it. So we've got some inventory space. Let's see what kind of weapons there is. Uh, first, let's sell some stuff. I don't need the falcon. Don't need the saber. I'm going to leave the dragon sword right now. Now, seeing that Idru is going with different type of weapons, I might sell the silver sword just because I don't need... I really don't need it. And the other swords are, you know, decent enough. Don't need the iron staff. Silver dagger, don't need it. The power, uh, I really don't need the power staff, but I'm gonna hang on to it just in case. Large dagger, I think I already sold that, but 
Hey, anyway. Uh, actually, let's see what weapons. I totally forgot to see what weapons there is. We got the iron staff, the saber, the long sword, which I don't think is as good as anything I have. And the falcon blade, yeah, the, this, the weapons kind of stink here. Alrighty. First of all, let's take a look at the dragon blade that I got in the dwarf cave. Uh, we got damage of 38 and 55. And damage of 34. So it's down by one. Same hit. Not bad. So I think Idru is going, that's his new weapon. There we go. Have I talked to everyone here? I believe. Well, I guess we'll go through the spells. Now we'll do that. We'll just say that, like, I haven't even got level four yet. So I'm not going to worry about spells right now. Because we're going to have to get level four spells. So I'm not going to deal with that. This is surprising. We have the same type of enemies in this area. And they also ambushed me. Oh, lordy. I don't even want to deal with these guys. Alright, so... As a lot of people said in their... Titan's Tunnel is to the west. I don't know if they said, but it is to the west. We've got zombies in the marsh. As long as you don't hit... No, I didn't want you to hit Lydia. Lydia, can you, uh, get unstunned? There we go. Because I need to use harm. Ooh, that dragon blade looks pretty awesome. Don't hit Lydia. Don't hit her. Don't hit her. All right, Lydia, do some harm up on there. Use that. Use it. Now this this is exactly why I don't like the facing zombies, because they paralyze you, you can't do anything, and they just like little ankle biters, basically. Take them out. Beautiful. Alright. So we're heading up here? No, we're not heading up here. You know, shadows. Don't really know if I want to fight these guys. But there's a lot of things ambushing me. It's almost like the game is like, oh, we're going to give you large amounts of monsters and also make them ambush you so you waste your time. All right, so we're going in here, and I believe this is Titan's Tunnel. Yes, it is. We got gray wolves. <laughs> They're just here. Again, ambushed. What is this? Why am I getting ambushed? Like the last two or three battles? Ambushed me. I'm assuming you're Titan. No one passes this road. Are, are you sure? I, I found this rock. Do you want this rock? No rock. Ruby only. Uh, okay. Then I guess we're gonna have to go elsewhere. So the only other place that we were kind of given a direction. Again! Ambushed! What is this? Fine, you want me to fight? I will fight. Instead of running away, I will... I will slice your ghostly head off. See, you're not even hitting me. So why can't I just run? Be like, hey, Shadow, you want to uh, live? Or, you know, kind of live because you're already dead? Not even worth like good experience in gold. Ugh. All right, so. Oh my God. 
I wasn't ambushed at all through this. The last four battles ambushed all the time. But I didn't get ambushed this time. Things are looking up. Yeah, let's run. Do not care. All right. Let us get to the, the southwest. Because the southwest indicated in the town. Can we run without actually getting hit? Thank you. They said the earth cave was down here. Is there anything actually south of here? I just want to kind of know. Nope. There is not. But there is stuff to, like, the west, but we can't get through Titan's Tunnel, so right now, the Earth K is, like, the only place we can go. So, let's do it. So let's go. I think I'm going to use a cabin. Just to make sure. So let's go in here. And welcome to a mess of a dungeon. Oh my goodness. This is the Earth Cave. And I don't have a map up, but I guess I'm just going to fi uh, figgle my way around here. But we got a bowl. So in the uh, opening of one of my episodes, I think uh, at least last or the last one before that, I went to the uh, Plinths of Power... And I fought the zombie version of these, which are super strong. <laughs> but these ones, eh, they're not that bad. They just hit hard, that's all. They're like an upgraded of the of the ogre, I guess. But they go down relatively good. But they're good gold. Like, if you fight four of those, you got some pretty good gold. All right, in here. Ooh, what's this? Got ourselves some cobras. Cobra! Always oh, good. Cobra. All right, let's go. Games, can you kill it? Can you kill it? Beautiful. There you go. One shot. One turn. And predetermined battle against the Earth Elemental. All right, so these guys, ooh, these guys hit hard. So hopefully they don't hit my squishy guys, but they do hit hard and they are, see, 39 damage on my, my, one of my big boys. Ooh. Like if they, uh, I'm sorry, did they take off 92 damage? Oh my god. And they have a lot of HP. So if you fight two of them, it's going to be a difficult time. Yeah. But they're worth good experience in gold. So there's that. I'm going to have to heal a little bit. Games here, uh, you know, just, just juggle down some of that stuff. All right, let's go here. We got 1975 gold. Now, we're not going to do the entire dungeon because the dungeon is, let's say, really long. So I'm just going to do the first floor. And we're going to get into the other... The other part of the dungeon because we have to go into the dungeon and then go back out and then come back in. So there's a lot of back and forth... So we got to uh, do that. So I just wanted to show off a little bit of the Earth Dungeon. Especially the first floor because it is a mess. As soon as you come in, it's like, oh my god, there's like eight ways to go. It's like, oh, which way do I go? So if you, if you have a map, use it. Definitely. All right. So I believe games is poisoned. All right. So if we go left, go, yeah, if we go left, we go down here, there is the, no, this is not it. 
Gotta heal Zom, definitely. I don't want him to get, like, destroyed. So if we continue this way, there is going to be a series... Well, if we go along the same path. Predetermined... I'm gonna heal Zom before I can't. Okay, we're good. Actually, I might heal... And it's also... Right, if we go here... Is this it? Okay, so here, starting here, we have the the hallway of giants i'm assuming i'm thinking that's what it's called or it's been nicknamed that where every battle will be against giants in some form which is not bad because you know giants are pretty good experience but they also hit hard they hit very hard. But, you know, I do need to get a level maybe two. Because, you know, you do have to level up in the dungeon. 50 points of damage. Damn. Yeah, hit, hit, my, hit my guys that can take damage. Okay, let's... They also are very beefy. Very beefy. As you can tell, I think I might have to buff... No, I think they're pretty much almost dead. Holy jeez, 101 damage critical hit. Oh my god. That is... That is... That is... Ow. Oh. Ouch. As you can tell, I am not... I'm not coming back here. Since I wanted to show off this. I gotta heal. Uh, screw it! We're gonna- we're gonna fire him. Okay, we got one. Okay, you finally... And he should be dead. Okay. So if we continue down that hallway... It will just kind of circle back to the stairs, but... Pretty much every single step you take... You'll get into a battle that has some kind of giant in it. As you can see, definitely good experience, definitely good gold. But, oh my god, look at my, look at my, I was literally almost full. And, uh, James, he's like, he's like on the ground almost. So, yeah. Definitely a, uh, a thing to do. Oh, uh, so it, it, it literally goes around in a circle to here. Comes out of here, and then, you know, it doesn't really go anywhere. But, again... Every step you take during that thing. I don't know if it's on both tiles because it is a two uh, tile way through. But uh, every step you take, it's going to be in some fun fight with a giant. And it could be up to four, four giants. If you do that, oh, you're going to be hurting very, very badly. So if you can take it, definitely a good place to grind for a little bit for gold and experience. So definitely go. Nothing down here. And I think we're going the right way. Yes, that is the right way there. As goes down there, I don't want to go down there. Not, uh, not in this part. We're going to get into that later on. As we are getting to time, and I don't want to get long episodes like the one in the Marsh Cave. That was a little too long for my taste. I want to keep them eh, relatively half hour-ish. Like 45 minutes, half hour to 45 minutes around there. Like it is an RPG, so I'm going to have to... Oh my god, three? Three green ogres. I think I'm going to bust out the magic here. That's the wrong character. Uh, let's go with... Yeah, let's bust out the... Fire 2. Ooh, that's good damage right there. And Sam, you couldn't even kill the, the ogre? Couldn't even do that. Couldn't do that at all, no. Now, 
Yame Zitru should be able to kill their targets. Alright, we're going here. Yeah, I have to say that the uh, the giants are like just almost like the upgraded version of the ogre. And same with the bull. The bull is like almost like the ogre also. So there's a lot of big beefy enemies in this this one. So is it the oh it's asps and also. Yeah, I do have I do have to kill things. I can't be running all the time, so I have to kill. I think I'll have to level up. Actually, I think in between episodes, I think I might grind just a little bit, get myself up a level or two, maybe. Because it is this dungeon is where things start to get. Well, even more difficult than it actually... Like, the Marsh Cave is probably the first hurdle that you probably go through, and then also this one is probably the next big hurdle you need to go over. Which makes sense, you know. Dungeons need to be more difficult. Got 80 gold, and also an Earth Elemental. Uh... Uh, we're gonna heal Zom. Actually, I think a regular here would be fine. Uh, we're gonna use fire. Weak against fire. So, definitely use fire. If you can. 77 damage. Ouch. On the guy who actually has the defense. Wow. All right. Keep on using fire there. I'm gonna have to use heal that up. There we are. Ouch! 109 damage! Ouch! Ow. Oh my god. Oh, that hurts. That, 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 oh, that hurts. Oh, lordy. Okay. Alright, Lydia, uh, heal yourself. Definitely. Again, might have to level up. Or uh, get a level or two, maybe. Before I move on. Seeing that the enemies in the first floor are, like, annihilating me. No, don't. Do not. Do not kill Lydia. No. Bad snake. Bad snake. All right, big question is, is that, am I gonna be able to cure her in time? Let's fire it up. Done. Kill it. Thank you. I want to hurt. <laughs> well, she's gonna still get cured, so there we go. All right, here, here, and here. There we go. Done. Done. Okay, there we go. Wow, I am in really bad shape. Holy cow. Well, one good thing about this is I'm getting enough gold to get level 4 spells. And possibly level 5, depending on how much I have. And after my grinding session, I most likely will have enough to get some. So we got 795 gold in here. And, oh my god, is this going to be Earth Elemental? Yes, it is. Hopefully Lydia has enough power to uh, withstand this. Ouch! No, you're not supposed to hit my... Squishy guys. We are taking some good damage off them, but holy jeez. Like, that is... A... Come on. Gotta get them above 100, at least. Even then, it's it's not safe. 
Oh, lordy. That was... Uh, oh, level up. Yay, cool, yeah. So, yay, at level level 12. He's at 305 points. His strength, agility, vitality, and luck went up. So, he drew at level 12. He's at 304, uh, 304 which he has slight, slight, slightly more HP. His strength, agility, vitality, and luck went up. Lydia went up to level 12. Her maximum HP is 107. Intelligence and luck went up. Zom went up to 12. He's at 152. His agility, intelligence, and vitality went up. Wow. Good. And that's just for a pure potion. Oh my god, it is. Let's uh let's let's hear my cure my my mages. I need I need them like almost full. There we go. I think I was, like, not a million snakes. Or six? Nine? Nine snakes? Uh, like, we could fill up and have nine snakes. Wow. And I believe that's it for the first floor of the Earth Cave. Yep, we covered here. And the only way we didn't go... Talking about lots of snakes... Zom, do you have a spell I could actually use? Yes, you have fire. You're gonna use it. Just, 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 just obliterate all those snakes in a glorious fire. Yes. There we go. Kill most of them, at least. Kills everyone except for one. Idro, take care of that. Thank you. Well, at least I'm getting good gold. All right, holy cow. So we haven't not been down here, but I went over there and as you can tell, I'm gonna run. I really don't want to, just too many snakes, man. And that is where we need to go. So we are not gonna go down there just yet because I have some preparing to do. So I'm really glad I actually saved before I came in here. Because holy cow. There's a lot of a lot of stuff. In there. Okay. That should be good. And we are out of here. Uh we're actually I kinda wanna go in there because I like the music. Alright, so. More Boyd in the next one. Well, before the next one, I'm going to actually go and level up one more time. And I'm going to probably meet you back in Elfland to get my level 4 spells because I'll definitely have enough money to do so. So we're probably going to start next episode in Elfland. But in between episodes, I'm going to go down the hallway, which is over over there, down this hallway, and just go through a bunch of giants and get a level up maybe two, depending on if I want to go crazy or not. And, uh, yeah. Because this cave is going to be a woozy. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Until next time, where we continue through the Earth Cave but not before preparing for it. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Stay safe. Watch out for snakes. Lots and lots of snakes. And I'll see you next time.